Well, welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today we're addressing a frustrating issue that many users encounter when trying to launch their IPython notebooks. One of our viewers has reached out with a question about why their command to open IPython notebook in the terminal isn't working. They received a warning that the command is deprecated and were advised to use Jupyter Notebook instead. Let's dive into the details and find out how to resolve this issue together. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. If you're having trouble starting the IPython notebook from the command line, the first thing to note is that the command IPython notebook is deprecated. To resolve this issue, you should use the command Jupyter Notebook instead of IPython Notebook. This is the recommended way to launch the notebook interface. If you have already upgraded Jupyter and are still facing issues, ensure that Jupyter is properly installed in your environment. You can check this by running conda list Jupyter. If Jupyter is not listed, you can install it using the command conda install Jupyter. This will ensure that you have the latest version. Finally, once Jupyter is installed, try running Jupyter Notebook again. This should open the notebook interface in your web browser. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If your IPython notebook won't start in Chrome, try using Safari instead. First, generate a configuration file in your terminal. Next, navigate to the Jupyter configuration directory and open the config file for editing. Search for the line that specifies the browser. Remove the comment symbol and set it to Safari. Finally, restart your notebook with the command Jupyter Notebook and it should open in Safari. If anyone has tips for getting it to work with Chrome, please share. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your IPython notebook won't start from the command line, a simple solution is to set your browser with a command. Just export the browser variable to open. Additionally, if you're using macOS 10.12.6 or earlier, consider updating your operating system for better compatibility. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the issue of IPython notebook not starting from the command line, you can edit your .bash profile file. Add two lines to specify the browser you want to use.
let's now look at another user suggested answer. If your IPython notebook won't start from the command line, here's a workaround. Open your browser and enter the login token at localhost. After starting a new notebook, you might find that the kernel dies and won't restart. To fix this, update your IPI kernel. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your IPython notebook won't start from the command line, it might be due to a recent Mac OS X upgrade. You can find discussions and potential solutions on GitHub. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one. Let's <laughs> go.